Hi, welcome back to my channel. One of my favorite couples is back. It's Matt Costa and Kara Quinn. It's an FBI thriller series. Well, Matt's FBI, Kara is an LA undercover cop, but, and I don't think this is gonna be a spoiler, but maybe I should tell you what the book is. Okay, this book review is for The Wrong Victim by Allison Quinn. I did read the first two books and they were A Third to Die. I can't believe I have to look it up. The Third to Die and Tell No Lies. So this is book number three. Now, I love this book for a thousand reasons. One of the reasons I love this book is because I love any type of police procedural. But when you make it an FBI procedural, 99 times out of 100, I'm going to like the book. I just love anything and everything FBI for some reason. Then you have the fact that it's a romantic suspense. But it's not technically a romantic suspense. It's more mystery thriller, police procedural. But there's romance. Who are our romantic players in this book? Of course, it's Kara Quinn and Matt Costa. Now, what are they doing in this case? And why is Kara, who's an L.A. cop, working with Matt, who's FBI? Well, at some point, a mobile FBI team was formed, okay? And they go, literally, place to place, depending on the crime that takes place. Kara is on loan to the FBI because one of her recent cases has put a target on her back. So she's just not safe on those streets working her job as a cop. So... She's not out in the cold, though. She's working with Matt and his team. So, what happens that brings uh, this story to life? Well, there's an explosion on a cruise ship. And when this enclosure, excuse me, when this bomb explodes, it's like a charter cruise ship. Nine people lose their lives. Everybody that was on board, including the pilot, who happens to be a former FBI agent, loses their lives. There's other people of significance that lost their lives on this ship. So now what we have are Matt, Kara, and the whole team trying to get behind this explosion to figure out who was the chief target. And that's one thing that I love about when you when when you are in like I call an armchair detective because that's what I am an armchair detective when you're sitting back and you're reading a book and you're analyzing clues as the characters are analyzing clues you're interviewing these people in your head and you're trying to figure out who did what or whatever well as you do this one of the things that uh, I have to make a joke Somebody said in a book I read, who are you? He's a detective. What's a detective? What does a detective do? And the guy said, I detect. It's kind of silly, but I say, I'll say it like this. We're trying to detect who is responsible for the bomb on that charter cruise ship. That's one of mine. But there's also the question is, who was the target? Was there a specific target and were other people collateral damage? So that's the that's the mystery part of it. Then there's the dramatic part of this book. The dramatic part of this book is inter office I say inter office drama because we have Catherine who's kind of like the FBI profiler, the, the psychologist of this mobile team. And Kara and Matt, excuse me, Catherine and Matt have known each other for a long time. And she feels very protective of him, very protective of him. And she can tell, as probably others, as well as, well as others, that there's something going on between Matt and Kara. The thing is, it's a conflict of interest. And if there's rules about dating, you know, a boss dating his subordinate, 
then Matt is definitely breaking that rule. And Kara, excuse me, Kara, Catherine isn't having it. And you got that drama. Then you have another layer to this book. The other layer is as they start to investigate people and talk to people that might be connected to not only the cruise ship itself or the charter line, but connected to the individual uh, victims that had passed away, they find out that some things match cold cases from the past. So how can they take those cold cases and use the clues from that and bring them into this one and solve it? Now, I love this book. I love the series. Can you read it as a standalone? Oh, most definitely. Do you want to read it as a standalone? Probably not. Because I am a gun ho for continuity. I need the connection of my characters, their backstory, their dynamic. And with all of that, it makes the drama behind solving uh, the cases that they get even that more realistic and more compelling. So I would definitely say that this third novel in the Quinn and Costa series is a well worth a, a read that is well worth your time. And um, I am going to zip over it. Okay, this came out uh, yesterday, April 26th. So I'll try to get this video up today. And it's a mirror publication. And mirror is a uh, an imprint of a uh, Harlequin. And you can get it on Amazon. And I'm just trying to get an idea. It's $12.99 on Amazon. And you can also get the other two books. But I would not be surprised if you can get all three of these at your library. And last but not least, you can get them all on Audible. So that's all I'm going to say about this one. I love this book. Now I'm going to go write the review. And I'll be back with more. Lots more. I keep reading two or three books a day every day. So no matter how many reviews videos I make, I have five more that I need to make. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.